he had a five game slide that he was just waiting to get rid of it and he did it with a complete 60 minute effort special teams was working overall how did you see that game oh it's just uh we knew from like we had a good start yesterday and then we kind of just uh we let that go in the second and then uh in the third as well so uh we wanted to make sure that the same scenario is not happening again and uh i think uh, all the all the guys just re bought into like what we're trying to do before the playoffs and all, all we want to play in the playoffs and uh, I think it worked out. Sometimes people look at this team and they say, oh, well, Grand Rapids is you know here in the standings, but they're playing for their playoff lives. If they lose a regulation, which they did, they're eliminated from the playoffs. So you knew that they were going to come out de like a desperate team in that second period. They did, but it didn't, you didn't allow it. You guys didn't break. You kind of bent, but you didn't break. And that's kind of the message, I guess, with this team. Yeah. Um, you know, like in this league, you can never take anybody for granted because uh, guys are guys are playing for jobs. Like they want they want contracts next year, and so nobody's never like nobody's ever gonna give up and like uh, not play for a game, right? So, and these guys were trying to get in the playoffs, and that was their, their last breath there. And uh, we saw it yesterday; they they all played us. And um, but uh, yeah, we like we we had to turn around quick, and uh, I think I think um, everything worked out good for us. We. Like one of our biggest thing we wanted to do is uh, keep it like our third man high in the in the ozone, and I think I think uh, we did a good job at, at it, and we didn't we didn't get too many Altman rushes uh, coming our way, so um, I think that was key for that game, and that's all I think that's all we won. You've been a veteran leader on this team a long time. You see a lot of these young guys come up and get developed. Declan, you know, he's named MVP. Leon's named the best goal, to, best defenseman. Uh, you know, Dilly's been contributing. What can you say about these young group of guys, and, and specifically Leon, who set the record for most goals now uh, by a Moose player? I take all the credit. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, these guys, uh, I knew right from the get-go. It's just, it's just a question for them to, to uh, get used to the game, and once, once they get used to the pace of the game, they just, uh, they can do uh, unbelievable stuff. And um, we, we've seen it with that, that same group for a couple of years now, and um, it's just great to see all like what, what they can accomplish and. Hopefully they can uh, keep doing it and get to the next level. You guys have a 2-1 lead yesterday and end up losing that game. Today you have the same 2-1 lead. Was there a sense of desperation going into the third and on the, on the bench in the third? Yeah, we. <laughs> it was the same kind of game and uh, we knew exactly what to not do, right? So um, we didn't want it to happen again and because uh, it, it, like that was our last home game too and we wanted to finish on a, on a strong note. and. Um, yeah, like I said, we just want we just wanted to not do the same as yesterday, and I think it worked out for us. And then you guys have had dominant firsts, but really nothing to show for it. How nice was it to get a goal on almost the first shot of the game there? Yeah, it's been a couple of games that you know, like we, we we come out strong. We have like 20 shots on net in the first period, but nothing comes out of it. But uh, yeah, tonight was was good to get ahead, and uh, um, you know, it just gives out a gives us a little push. You know, like the guys are. Are staying on the same game plan because sometimes, like if if we get a we get a strong first but nothing comes out of it, that's when the guys are, are starting to uh, get away from our game plan and trying trying other stuff that we're not used to do. And not all the guys are on the same page, and that's how that's how we lose games. But uh, that was good to get ahead. Jim, what can you say about the fan support throughout the year and of course today too? It seemed like a pretty rocking building. Must give you guys a good feeling heading the playoffs too. Oh, it was awesome, especially today. Uh, I looked up and I saw a wave in the third. That was awesome. Um, yeah, anytime like the lower bowl was full, and it's it's just it just brings us so much energy. Just uh, you know, uh, hearing them cheering and all that, and um, it's fun. To, it's fun to have their their support, and it, it helps us win game.